Hi, I'm Rich Lawrence with Catalyst Communication Systems. Today, I'd like to demonstrate some new features to you that are available through the DMR platform called Application Interface Standard, or AIS. The DMR standards were developed by the DMR Association and were approved by the European Telecommunication Standards Institutes. There are at least a dozen manufacturers of DMR base stations and portable mobile radio equipment. And there are several other companies that also manufacture dispatch consoles for the DMR platform. Catalyst is included among those companies. So to illustrate the AIS capabilities, I'm going to use the Catalyst IP Dispatch Console Solution and the Tape DMR Tier 3 Radio System. Hi, I'm Evan Forrester with Tate Communications. As an innovative leader in digital mobile radio systems for utilities, transportation, public safety, and other critical communications organizations, we are pleased to welcome Catalyst as a technology partner. Together, we provide an integrated dispatch and interoperability solution using the DMR Application Interface Standard, or AIS. The interconnection between the IP console and the Tate DMR Tier 3 radio system is through a direct Ethernet port over the AIS standard. We can assign modules on the dispatch console for each of the talk groups associated with the DMR Tier 3 system. We're going to demonstrate now the Tier 3 AIS capabilities of the console. You'll see that we're going to transmit this one. We, re we are receiving radio both on the field one, radio two, three, and three, three, four, on the module five, five. on the console screen the caller ID of the incoming radio. Six call two oh eight radio number nine two, eight, seven. Eight, eight. By using the DMR AIS interface, we're able to take interoperability to a whole new level including the ability to patch DMR radios to non-DMR radio systems, such as SmartNet SmartZone, P25, EDAX, LTR, MDC-1200, and a host of other radio systems. Because the interface into the DMR Tier 3 system is a direct Ethernet connection, fully wireline, we have a much more efficient connection, a much more robust connection. So in order to set up a patch between the AIS and the CSSI talk groups, we're going to go to the IP console screen. We're going to select the AIS talk group number 902 that's highlighted in light blue. We're also going to select the talk group number 2, which is a CSSI talk group, And I'm going to set up a patch between those two systems. That patch is now active. So we will be able to talk back and forth between the DMR radio system and the P25 radio system through this patch. And not only will the audio be passed between the units, we'll also patch the caller ID from the DMR system to the P25 when I, when I transmit in that direction. Radio test, one, two, three, four, five. And when you view the screen of the P25 radio, you'll see that the indication of talk group two from the DMR system uh, shows up on the radio. So the last feature that we'd like to demonstrate through the AIS connection is console preemption. So what we'll do is we'll have two DMR radios that are in a conversation, then the dispatcher will take over that conversation merely by pressing the instant transmit button on the console. 
So we'll show you, demonstrate that now. I have the, my two uh, DMR radios that are in a conversation with each other. Now I'll have the dispatcher overtake that conversation by pressing the instant transmit button. Radio test, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you'll see that the console overrode the other radio's transmission, took over that channel, and the dispatcher was able to be heard on the field radio. I hope you have found this demonstration helpful in understanding a sample of the powerful capabilities that Tate and Catalyst can provide using our DMR trunked radio technologies and the AIS standard. Tate Technology Partners provide you with leading innovative technology choices for your business. I encourage you to consider the value that Tate and Catalyst can bring you. To learn more, contact us or visit our websites.